May 11th, 2024. And I've lived on this lake for 27, getting ready to be maybe 28 or 29 years. I've lived here since I was 27. I'm getting ready to be 56. And the whole time I lived here, I only did it for one reason. And that was to raise hell on my jet ski and go race it in Florida after I tuned it out there. But now, after 40 years, and this stuff been setting for, whew, this gear's probably been setting for 25, as long as I've lived here, maybe 27 years. This is my debut back into fishing. This is it, gears. Ooh, dirty, trashed, it all needs new line. I say it's trash, it's just, it's dirty. But today's the day, it gets brought back to life, a wash job. Let me see what, my first fish in probably 40 years, a little crappie I just caught. Patty's with me. I'm gonna start my fishing career again. Oh yeah, gotta let him go. Bass, right after the cat, just took it right at the boat. First one on the new gear. Crappie. Not bad. Okay, that's enough. This is about a, I'm gonna guess a one or maybe more pound crappie. I can't believe it. I just caught it 4th of July, 2024. Unbelievable, look at the mouth on that thing. That's over a pound. That's my record crappie, guaranteed. When you go out on tour, you want the best, so. Custom $1,200 worth of fucking rods in your custom made rod holder. <laughs> fucking decking, state of the art decking. Eight horsepower outboard, custom anchoring. We've got a through line in case you fall off for old people. Front and rear ties. I mean, failing system high capacity fuel tank and when you hear this power look at that weight the way it pisses pro level shit man then you fucking get out here and go right to work on your bass this is the second one I caught the first one got off <laughs> that's a business homie next to me look at the size of this crappie that sucker's at least one and a half pounds you believe that just caught it on a that little bluegill looking crankbait just caught this one on a 
on a crawl, plastic ow, crawl ow, bait. Ow. When he come to the top, he slung it in half. I watched fly, half of it fly over here and there. About a two oh, pounder. Yeah. There's your bass, Patty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Came over here, just tried my brand new Rick Clun spinner bait. Caught a two pounder on the first cast. The fish struggled around a little bit, threw it back in the water, threw my lure in the water, and realized my fucking brand new $400 Shimano Bantam and uh, Techniques carbon fiber rod was in there with it. Went straight home. Well, first I looked to see exactly where I was at without fucking throwing a fit. Went straight home through these three treble hooks I had on these three weights. Came back, got approximately where I thought I was and had to cast around in 15 feet of water. Got the thing back, it was barely hooked. Just like that when I just reeled the fucking thing back in. Got my pole back. Unbelievable! Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's August 4th, I think, trying out this new bait. It's a one they brought back called the, it's a walking bait for top water called the Vixen. Just got this one and a half pounder. There's your bass, Patty. He might, yeah, it's, I'd say it's one and a half to be safe. Just nailed him on that top water, out testing it out. New Bantam with the carbon light. Johnny Morris, Rod, back in the business, man. I'm going pro. So I did exactly what I said. Took me about 15 minutes, 20 minutes to jack around with it until I got it, cut it off, and heated it up enough to get it where I wanted it. And gonna work like a dream. Also, it floats a little. Bring her over to the test tank. That vixen's made to float down on the ass end, whereas now with mine chopped off, it's just gonna sit straight up in the water, but that's okay. It's still gonna catch fish, I guarantee it. Bingo. Just pop this top water or bass on an old jitterbug right here at the bank. Middle of the afternoon, 87 degrees. Probably about a two pounder easily. Bingo. My best one yet. August 8th, I think, today. It's about noon. I think it's at least a three and a half to four pounder. Bingo. Here it is. It's at least three and a half. Caught it on that little black popper right there. Just fishing this edge. Out of the new Nitro 2030. Get ready, it's coming. Yes, look at the size of that bad boy. Bingo. Biggest bass of the year. I was just getting ready to get in the 2030 Nitro. And I seen this sucker swimming along the bank. I threw a little jig down there and watched him take it in the sunlight. I guarantee you this sucker's maybe four pounds. Probably my best one. Bingo! Sucker's at least three and a half, maybe four. I don't have anything to weigh it right now, and I ain't that concerned. This is my best one so far. Yes! Got us another good one here. Black jig, at least a three pounder. Let me get him off the line here and do a photo shoot. There he is, at least three pounds. You approving? Yeah, it's a baby. Yeah, he's at least three. I'm gonna get me a digital scale so I can quit guessing, but yeah. Caught him on a black jig. I threw it up in there and turned around and was dealing with my dog and I thought, why is my line so loose? And I kept reeling and reeling and reeling and reeling and finally I caught up to him. We're gonna let him roll back here. Go on, buddy. Oh yeah, <laughs> he gone. Out testing this new, as you can see, soon to be 2030 model coming to your dealer soon. But the sponsor, they sent over some jerseys, but they only sent jerseys for me and you can see my fishing partner. 
Well, she's not very happy that, that she didn't get a jersey. So that's what she's going to do to mine. I'm going to have to talk to the sponsors. Got this whopper plopper yesterday. Caught a couple on it last night. One of them actually took it. My line snapped last night. The sucker went under for about 30 seconds, come back up and spit the lure out. I got it back. I'm out this morning and I just put this two and a half pounder from right back behind that dock, getting ready to put him in the boat. Yeah, baby. Uh, Tognani, happy Friday 13th, buddy. September, I think's 22nd or so. Just hit this one on a little, it's not quite a square bill. It only runs about a foot, a foot and a half. Just caught this bass. Second one, the first one was much smaller. This is about a two, two and a half pounder. I'm gonna get him off here and get him back in the water. Just caught this in September. I think it's 23rd, 24th maybe, I don't know. <coughs> After I just caught that other bass, looks like it's about a two pounder on a Rick, Rick Clun spinner bait with a little curly tail trailer. But I got a new Bubba scale yesterday. Caught three fish with it, but one three, one four, one one. So this will be the heaviest one we get away so far. I looked at the date this time. Second bass on that Rick Clun. My partner's happy. Uh, that first one was one eight, uh, one seven and a half. That's the biggest one so far. So this one hopefully is going to be about two, but hopefully I'm going to get it in here and get it weighed and then back in the water be before it gets off. <laughs> that Ricky Klein with the extended hook. I put an extended hook and then a small little trailer on it. That last one was one and three quarter. This one's probably only one and a half. So I haven't caught anything real yet, but. I'm getting to try out my new Bubba scale and my, part, my partner's happy. So we'll get this one off and back in the water and keep digging. <laughs>